Okay, so, um, I'm going to attempt to do a particle tutorial. Frankly, I don't know how to really tutor or explain how to use particles. It's more of just, uh, just wing it and just play with it until you get what you want. I'm not very good at explaining things. I'm just gonna try to remake it and you guys can watch how I do it. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys didn't know, the, the thingy, the video is all in my animator. I all I really did was just put motion blur on it and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, the particles are kind of real time. Kind of laggy, but that's just because I couldn't really be bothered to make it optimized. It was just a test. It's, yeah, explosion. Uh, let's uh get started. Now, um, what you want to get started with really is um, just kind of go into your photo editing program or whatever that can support png files with transparent backgrounds so just kind of make just kind of make a couple few pieces of wood here and i just drew a few little shapes and doodads here once you did that save it as a png so you want to get uh, a default spot okay and i am using the latest version of my animator uh, i think it's 1.2.4 yeah, I think so. Open up the particle box here. Now, if you're really not particle savvy, I don't really know how to help you with there or help you there. I, I just, I'm just gonna make a tutorial on how to do this. So, yeah. Okay. So first things first, to make them 3D, uh, at least this is how I know how to do it. You're gonna find it first in your files. Make sure it imports as an item sheet, as it is. Now, uh, you're gonna have to do this however many times you got your items you got. So, I'm just gonna do it a few times here. Okay, now once you do that, uh, just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna name them, call them K-Gay. All right, now go back to the particle box, go here, scroll down and change this from that to, uh, Shoot, there's so much crap in here. Item. <laughs> yeah. So now you got this crap here. I'm not too particle savvy when it comes to knowing everything about it. I just, as I said, I just jack with it till it looks all right. So a lot of it's just trial and error until it looks good. So first thing I like to do first is uh, turn those off and turn that off. So they're all just flying in one spot. Since this is going to be an explosion, I want some of it to kind of just go crazy, go stupid. Um, now I'm gonna randomize some of the scaling just for more variety in size. As I said, I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to teach you guys how to do this. I'm just gonna make it and then you guys can just copy my process or some crap like that. I don't know. Um, first of all, we're gonna switch this to maybe 20. Yeah, that's just so it doesn't spawn 20 per minute. So it just spawns, uh, well, let's say 20 the second I hit my hotkey, which is S for me, because that's just how I like to spawn my particles. So now we have, we need to have them going in a direction. So I'm just gonna shoot them that way, or depending on wherever, whatever direction it's gonna be for you, face it that direction. I don't know. And if, I don't actually know how these work yet. So speed here. Okay, so that brings that out. Okay, that shoots it up. <laughs> that shoots it that way. See, I don't... It's just jacking with it until it works. Okay, so we want it to go in that direction, right? So now they... Yeah. So this right here is what's going to mess with the gravity. Kind of. Nah, they're just kind of sliding on their own. I think we need to make those zero, I think. Uh, I think, um, if you want a more in-depth tutorial or something on how particles work, you can go to Sharpwind's channel or something like that. I'm pretty sure he explained every little nook and cranny when it comes to particles. I just, I personally just don't know how to tutor. I like to bring the bounce factor to 25 because the bouncing is just a little too much sometimes. Um, okay. 
See, now we're making progress. Now I want some of them to fly upwards, so you can bring that up. It seems kind of slow, so maybe we can bring that. Okay. Uh, the farther you drag this, the more uh, the stronger the gravity is going to be. So you can see, it gets to a point where everything just starts vibrating, and I really don't know how to prevent that other than disabling uh, bounce. But we gotta have a little bounce here. So I'm gonna keep this about there, I guess. Maybe point one. Are we slowly moving up? Nope. Okay. Okay. I think we can go to point five. No. So we'll make that point twenty five. And then they'd stop moving after, like... Yeah, I guess that'll work. Now we got our <laughs> basic explosion here. Now, in order to add more variety, i uh, duplicate this as much times as how many different pieces you got here. So I've got, like, five. And then find them in here. That one's that one. This one's that one. This one will be that one, and one more time, and that one will be... Sure. Now, if you want more craziness, you can just bring the... Who dares Snapchat me? Now, that's basically how it's done, but we're gonna add some variety and some of the whatever, so just pick any one, and... Start bumping this number up or whatever, so some of them start flying up higher or farther. You know, kind of just you can see how some of them are flying up higher now. We'll do this to other ones, make this one go farther out, maybe. <laughs> maybe a little too far. We can have it in a spawn region, so now it'll spawn anywhere in that circle. So now any, so anywhere inside this box, it's gonna spawn there. You see. Now we'll put this right here in front of our door, and yeah, that's um, that's our thing. Now I can't really do anything about the floating pieces here. That's just gonna depend on your, your rotation point, which I think I might know how to fix, but I'm not really gonna go into depth on that because that's that just seems more tedious. But anyway, um, that's kind of how you make the. <laughs> particles, I guess. Uh, if you got any other tutorial ideas, I can probably try attempting to make another tutorial for something else. I don't know. Yeah, if this helped you or something, yeah, give, give me a heads up because, you know, I don't like to cram you guys with uh, useless facts or just be annoying. Hopefully that helped you guys. Maybe you can make some pretty cool looking crap with it. Oh, and if you want to add the smoke particles or whatever that I added here, just simply get a smoke texture or something like that, like this. You know, just ra just random smoke texture from Google. Put on glow so it's glowing. Then uh, turn on only render glow so it only renders the glow. And just kind of just put a transition on it so it just fades away. And it's I didn't really put much effort in that, but I just put a bunch of them around. Put some on the ground here. And, uh, there's a little bit of clipping and z-fighting there. Um, if you want to change the colors, you know, just pick any of them and go to here and then, um, uh, randomize the color so our door is kind of brown. Um, just kind of go with colors that might match that area. I have to do it for all of them, but you get the idea. It just adds variety and color and size and all that crap. There is a very loud truck outside. Thank you. Yep, uh, that's the tutorial. Uh, bye.